Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will be installing Google Play Store on a Windows PC. I will also talk about on how you can sideload apps that are not available on Google Play Store and run them onto your Windows PC. So let's get started. First, we will prepare our windows to install the Google Play Store. So click on Start and search Windows Subsystem for Android. Now right click on it and then click on the Uninstall button. If you don't have Windows Subsystem installed, you can skip this process. The next step is to enable virtualization on your windows. To do that, just right click on your taskbar and click on Task Manager. Under Performance, you can see if virtualization is enabled or not. If it is not, then to enable it, just click on Start and search Turn Windows Features On or Off and click on it. Now scroll down below to Virtual Machine Platform and enable it. Once enabled, click on OK and then restart your system. Once restarted, open any browser and search for WSA Builds. Click on the first link from the GitHub website. With WSA Builds, you can run Windows Subsystem for Android using pre-built binaries from the Google Play Store. Here, just scroll down below and select the version of your Windows operating system. For me, it's Windows 11. Now, click on the Download Latest Table Builds with respect to your system's architecture. Now scroll down below to the Asset section and you will see several versions available. For me, I will be downloading this one as it has Amazon Store, Google Play Store apps and it also has Magisk for root access. Just find the desired version file and click on it to download. As I have already downloaded this file, so I will skip this process. Once the file is downloaded, just close your browser. Now right click on the downloaded file and click on Extract All button. Now click on the Browse button to save the extracted files to a safe directory. So I will save this file to my documents under a folder called WSA. Once done, click on the Extract button. So this will take a while to extract the contents of this folder, which is around 2.25 gigs. Once extracted, the folder will pop up automatically. Just double click on the folder and search for the run.bat file. So this is the Windows batch file that we need. Once located, right click on the file and click Run as Administrator. Now this will automatically install Windows Subsystem for Android and Google Play Store on your Windows. Just click on Continue twice and you will see that Windows Subsystem for Android is starting. Just click on PowerShell and press Enter to close it. Now you will need to wait for a few seconds. Now you will see a few pop-ups asking you to grant permissions. Just click on yes and move forward. So this will take some time and then you will be redirected to the sign-in page of your Google Play Store. Just click on the sign-in button and type in your Google account details to log in to your Google Play Store. Once everything is complete, you can click on start and search for Google Play Store application. Now click on it to open it. With this, you have successfully installed Google Play Store on your Windows PC and you can enjoy your favorite apps or games that are available on Play Store on your Windows PC. Now we will move on to installing apps that are not available on Google Play Store. So we will be sideloading these apps. To do that, click on Start and search for Windows Subsystem for Android. Just open this application. Now go to Advanced section and click on Experimental Features. Here, you have to turn on Local Network Access and Share User Folder. Now click on Change Folder and select your desktop as your default folder. Now 
Once done, close the application. Now right click on your taskbar and click on task manager. Under processes, search for subsystem and right click on windows subsystem and click on end task. With this, we have successfully closed our windows subsystem for Android. Now, open the windows subsystem for Android again from the start menu. So we did this just to make sure that all the changes have been applied correctly. Once the application is open, under settings, click on files. Now this will restart your windows subsystem for Android. Once restarted, you will see files under windows subsystem. Just click on subsystem for Android and then click on the windows folder. Now you will see all the APK files that you have downloaded on your desktop. I have downloaded the Aptoid APK file and the Magisk APK file. You can download any APK file that you wish to sideload onto your windows. To install these APK files, just double click on the file and select package installer. Now click on the install button to install the APK file. If you see an error, just go back to Windows Subsystem for Android app and turn off block installation of malicious apps. Once the application is installed, you can click on the open button to launch the app. With this, you have successfully sideloaded the Aptoid application. And using the same method, you can sideload any APK file that you wish to install. Now, as I have downloaded the WSA package with Magisk and Amazon App Store, you can click on Start and find the Magisk application. So this is the interface of Magisk application. To update the app, you can simply click on the Update button. To find Amazon App Store, you can click on Start and search Amazon. And click on the Amazon App Store to launch the application. You can find all the applications installed under the Start menu. Just type in the name of the application and click on it to open. Now you can enjoy application and games from the Google App Store onto your Windows PC. Just open the Google Play Store and search for your favorite app. So now let's try to install Spotify. Just click on Spotify and click on the install button. You can also install WhatsApp and many other applications. Once the application is installed, you can click on the open button to launch it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like these. I'll see you in the next one.